All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tainted Grail. Uh, in the last video, we got some magical superpowers, and we just came back to the portal, and uh, now we got to continue on to escape, uh, I guess, this prison that we're in, and uh, see if we can find more weirdness out, out in the world to keep our promise to the one guy, so. See where this takes us. Super cool. Not all of this tentacle stuff, but that's just that right there. <laughs> that's something I would have in my house. Like I'd put that on like on one of the huge like fifty foot walls of my house and like love the hell out of it. Uh well not fifty foot, maybe thirty foot. I got like a, a wall that's like twenty or thirty feet. What is that? That is some kind of ancient magical power source. More importantly, what is that? Okay, they're churning this thing to generate power, but dude, what are you? Big demon humanoid thing with human hands? Okay. You don't mess with me, I won't mess with you. Yeah, people here were not the good guys. Look at all this evil stuff. So we're just going to pass through. We're not going to do anything with that. Are you serious? We're, we're, we're really just going to leave that alone, like... Like, this isn't something important. Okay. You can't just show me stuff like that game and expect to be like, oh, yeah, don't worry about that. That's nothing. Like, what? <laughs> All right. Uh, hold on. Before we go down there, this doesn't seem like it goes anywhere. Is there anything over here? All right. What about the other side? Probably the same. Yeah. Nothing. Okay. Nothing but ancient. Oh, we can interact with this. Okay, so maybe they were titans. Maybe that's what they were. Let's see something. Is that other side readable too? Because I've been seeing, like, like back in here, there was a wall that had um, some writing on it too. And I've seen it, but didn't think that it was clickable. Like, these things had writing on them. Yeah, that's okay. So, yeah, we can't interact with nothing like that. Okay. Yeah, let me check this other side over here. Then we could drop down. I'm uh, that looks like the guy that uh that helped us out, but that could be somebody else too. I gotta get a closer look. Alright, I feel like this is some, like some Lovecraftian cult stuff, and <laughs> we gotta be the one to stop it. <laughs> Alright, are you the same guy who uh helped us out? No, you are not. Oh, you're a words one, okay. Thought you were somebody important. Oh, you magical bitch. You are the boss fight. Okay, that's what you are. Aha! Yep, you're the boss we gotta beat to leave. Gotcha. Aha! Don't want none of this shield? Ooh. Burning Ember. Okay, so I'm guessing that's something... Is that like the magical scrolls that we found earlier, but couldn't do anything with? I'm guessing that's one we can use, since that looks a little bit different. Ooh, light armor. Uh, I'm more of a fan of red, but it does the same armor, so why not switch it up? Yeah, where are we storing the spell stuff? Cause I'm not... Okay, here we go, Spectral Sword. Okay, so that's a magical buff. So what category does that get put in? Cause I'm assuming it would be in a category, but... Cause it's in here, this is everything, so... I guess maybe we equip these and then we can use that? Is this a one-time use, or is this, like, do we just have this to use? Because I'm assuming these are spells that we have and can use anytime we want, as long as we got the mana. That's what I'm assuming. But I would like for them to be in one of these lists. Outside of the one that's for everything, but I guess maybe they're not, so, okay. Uh, Fireball does 1418. Okay, that just gives me a sword. We already got that. Alright, let me equip this. And see how or where that goes. Where's my here we go. 
Oh, that just goes in my equipment slot. Okay. I see what it is. Okay, yeah, let me not do that then. Let me definitely do this. Unless this other sword stuff is better. Daggers, daggers. It's the dull swords we've been picking up. Okay. Let me test some of this out real quick. Let me see some. Because I'm assuming this costs mana to cast. Yeah. Oh, that looks super cool. Okay, so that's just going to not help me out because we already have a sword. So unless our current sword breaks, we don't need that. So yeah, let's put you back on. And I want to have that fireball. Can I quick slot that fireball? I don't think I can. Okay. Alright, that's going to suck. Because then i got to either take off my shield or take off my other thing or make a second loadout and just switch with switch between them hmm okay I'll use the fireball as I need it it's not that big a deal all right guess we just got to get up out of here let's see before we do that what are those glowing things on the ground back there oh weirdness yeah let me grab that or weird plasm rather I thought I seen something glowing on the ground when I turn around check the other side because I'm assuming we can craft something with that eventually. One piece over here. Alright. Alright, YouTube, let's get up out of here. Probably gonna take us to the service or something. Alright. Right. Use one of these. Get back to full health. Get a good save going. Alright, let's see what we have. Oh, that, dude. That doesn't look evil at all. Alright, got a compass, so I'm guessing we're out in the world. Okay. Guessing they want us to go that way. The statue and everything. So I'm not seeing anything over here. I'll take a look around first, you know. Don't want to miss like the the game's greatest weapon over here because that's what I would do if I was a game designer Hermit's Diary Hermit gonna be mad at me we'll come back and not have nothing here I uh, can take those feathers too yeah, give me that uh, can we jump up here yes we can't hopefully Yeah, he won't be needing none of these bases. He does not look like he's coming back, but even if he is, he's just going to be mad because I'm taking everything. All right. Can I pick those two? Yes, we can. Oh, maybe that's progression. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can do anything with the statue over here. That may just be for visual sake, but I thought this looks like we could jump over here. Yes, we can. Are you going to teleport us back to the weirdness like the other statue? Or are you just a sacrificial altar? Yeah, it looks like a sacrificial altar. I'm just... defiling all kinds of stuff today. Sorry, but, you know, I'm... Uh, uh, um, I'm desperate, ancient god lady. You know, they just tried to kill me. I was locked up in ancient magical prison, you know. Got some kind of ancient deity inside me, you know. Days going rough. It's getting better though. All right, let's go talk to these guys down here. So that's the other guy that helped us out. So who are these other two people? There she is. How you doing? Now that we're all here, meet your new comrades, conquer in Syria. Get some rest, people, and prepare for the journey. We're leaving at dusk. Not so fast, brother. Maybe they were other I prisoners. Near a goddamn boat, unless I know where I'm going. Away from here, brother. Isn't that enough? Good point. Wish. 
But since we're all here and we have some time to kill, it would be nice if you finally explained what the hell's going on. You've helped us leave our cages, great. But even though we're grateful, you owe us an explanation. What do you want from us? To show some damn gratitude for one thing. Caradoc, we weren't born yesterday. No one would risk getting into trouble with the priests for nothing. Why did you save us? I need you to kill King Arthur. You're insane. He's insane. The King Arthur that has already been dead for 600 years, King Arthur. Precisely. But he's dead. You probably wouldn't have heard about it among the tribes little picked, but every single time things go down the shitter on this island, a bunch of cowards in Camelot bring our once and future king back from the dead. It's happened before. It will happen again. And soon. What a load of... <sighs> ah, fine. Have it your way. Let's say I believe you. You can't be serious. He believes that. There's no point in arguing with a madman. But that still doesn't explain why you saved us, Caradoc. I wish I knew why I was ordered to save you three specifically. Personally, I don't see the appeal. But I don't question my orders. And if you get on my boat, you won't question mine. Understood? Now get some rest. The tide's not right just yet. But it will break and start working in our favor by dusk. Fine. But where are we going, exactly? To the Horns of the South. Nice. A bunch of glorified fishermen who hate my people. Why would we stop there? Do they teach you, Del Rida, anything? To take the Excalibur, obviously. Obviously. It's truly insane. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Now pin these emblems to your clothes. They will grant you free passage to the horns. And get some sleep. You all look like you're about to keel over. And we have a long journey ahead of us. Okay. Kill King Arthur. Take Excalibur. Okay, that's a new one. Usually most games, they, uh, you know, you gotta either use Excalibur for yourself or, you know, help King Arthur since he's, you know, technically one of the good guys, but I guess not in this game. Or maybe, uh, maybe he's the good guy, maybe we're working for the bad guys, or, I mean, hell, you know, maybe this guy could be Lancelot and he wants to put his friend down because they keep bringing back his friend's spirit and maybe King Arthur wants to stay dead, you know? And maybe Merlin's giving him orders to do that or something. Who knows? But we'll see if I'm correct Correct eventually. Um, he said pin this on my clothes like I had to manually do it. I don't know. Maybe I don't. Maybe it's just part of the story. So, All right. Okay. You have decided to trust Caradoc, at least for now. You have embarked on your journey towards the horns of the south, but as soon as you found yourselves at sea, black clouds gathered over your heads like tangible proof that there must be some curse on you. Soon, the wind was howling, and the gargantuan waves were towering over you. You found yourselves in the heart of a storm. The only thing you remember is the deafening roar of the cracking wood and then darkness. You open your eyes. You are alive. Uh, that tells me I'm probably washed up on the beach somewhere. How, how'd I guess it? Alright, uh, I guess we gotta find our comrades, I'm guessing. Alright. Uh, is this the lady that was with us? Uh, that kinda looks like her. Uh, she don't look like she needs our help, so we're just gonna take all of this stuff first. Hopefully I didn't lose all my items, let me see. Nope, we're good. Nice. Alright, uh, search the rest of the boat. Uh-oh. She won't be needing none of this. Yep, this is the lady that was with us. I guess she didn't make it. Let's see. Okay, so they were just there to guard me, essentially. I was, I was the pro tag. <laughs> that was the important one. <laughs> All right, let's definitely put on her clothes here. 
She probably, yep, that's what I thought. The best thing we got so far. Out here looking like an old school assassin from Assassin's Creed. Alright. Let's get a save going. And why was her hand go Oh, that's what that spell, Mother's Blessing. Okay, I'm guessing that's kind of some kind of healing spell. Alright, uh, if she didn't make it, I'm going to assume the guy didn't either, but I don't see him on this beach, so I'm going to assume he's still alive since we didn't see him die, so. And uh, I'm going to assume uh, Karadak is alive too, because he's like, you know, the important guy of, the, of everybody, so. Uh, that looks like some kind of zombie creature. Where'd my stuff go? Okay, why do I... Why can I not pull out my, uh... Okay, usually when I attack, uh, is this like a non-aggressive area or something? Because usually when I hit attack, it pulls out the sword, but now I got, all I got is my fists. And even I have, um... Stuff equipped, so... Okay, I must be hitting something that's changing my loadout button without realizing it. I figured that what it is. Oh, oh, you are ugly. I thought you was at least human, like a mutated human. Guess not. Yep, okay, character P, hold on. Okay, guess that doesn't do that, even though it said it did. Uh, no, I don't want that. Where is... I want this and this. Maybe now I can level up stuff. Okay, there we go. So we got one attribute point, one skill point. Let's see what they do. Damage, armor, reduce stamina. Attack speed, range. Okay, so I'm guessing if bows and arrow are thing in this, I'm guessing that's what that's for. Spirituality is mana. Okay, okay, okay. Critical damage, chance, sneaking. Okay, lock picking. That's going to be definitely good. Endurance, health. Okay, basic stuff. Carrying capacity. Practicality. I'm guessing that's basically luck. Okay. Alright, so... That's going to probably be better for me right now. Perception. And damage. I know we're playing on normal, so this game doesn't seem like it's that hard. So, as soon as we level up strength a couple times, we'll probably be able to own everything. Uh, but we got one point, so let's do this right now. Up our critical chance. And reduces our sneaking so that, um... We can get around a little bit better. Uh, I guess we gotta apply skill points maybe in a tree. Oh, let me keep that there. We probably gotta apply skill points here. Or not. Alright, let me do this. Let me apply that. And yeah, I'm guessing we would do that somewhere in here, but maybe we need eight skill points to open up with something that's locked. That's probably what it is. Okay. Okay. Oh, keeper stag. Some other kind of accessory? No. That's not something I can put on. Up here we go. Oh, that's our cape. No, that's not what it was. Oh, we had better armor and stuff this whole time? I I wasn't even paying attention. Okay, we, we, we could have probably not healed ourselves that much. We probably didn't need to. Yeah, let's put on all this better stuff. Okay, Leather Hood is still the best. Alright. Yeah, and that's probably just the best. Wow, hers isn't even the best. Their shitty leather armor is still better than hers. Wow. How about this one? Keeper armor, that's 10. This looks a little bit cooler, though. Yeah, it's a little bit more beat up. Yeah, this makes me look like I'm a part of the Red Shields, though. Yeah, let me go with that. Alright. So, yeah, was that item not something we could... See, doesn't that look like something we can equip? Because gold and everything? 
Unless that's just something we just sell, but... Stealing all this stuff. All right, at least we're a little bit more uh, fortified with armor, so now we should be able to take. Dog, don't do it! Don't do it, pupper! I will eat your meat like I'm a Chinese person. I'm sorry, but you know. I don't find dogs that sacred. Like, I will eat the hell out of a. A dog, a cat, and if I was starving, an, uh, another person. <laughs> I put some salt and pepper on all three of y'all. <laughs> Go to work. Yeah, I'm not killing no people to eat them, but you know, I probably let myself starve before that happened. But if somebody accidentally died, let's say like if I was on a plane crash or something, I mean, this would never happen because I would never go to something like that that's that risky. But let's say you know I was on a plane and it crashed, and me and a group of pe group of people were stuck somewhere. And, uh, and let's say one person was injured and he died of his injuries and everybody was like, oh no, we, we can't eat him. It's wrong. I'm going to be the one eating the hell out of him. Like I wouldn't take him out early, you know, cause you know, I'm no murderer or nothing like that. But if I'm starving, Hey, meat is meat. I don't think humans are that, that sacred anyway. I think a lot of animals are better than people. But if I'm starving, I'll eat the hell out of an animal too. <laughs> I mean, animal, I don't consider animals super sacred. I'm not vegan. <laughs> I'm good on that. <laughs> Steak tastes good. <laughs> and I'm not picky about how my meat's cooked. Burn the hell out of it. I'm good. I'm dead. Okay. Ah, crap. All right. I got to go in for a couple swings and then back off. I drained my whole stamina. Cause I don't have food like that. Alright, go on, throw. Alright. Ah crap. Why do you guys gotta move together? Crap. Trying to get this guy by himself, but I can't go in and attack without getting hit. Oh, we got that time. There we go. Okay, we're good. Gotta bait their attacks. Alright, this so looks like they got a two cycle attack. One, two, swing. Bloodstained shirt. Ew. Where's that other one? I'll take it just because I, I may be able to sell it to somebody if we come across somebody like who's selling stuff. Maybe that's a thing. They're just throwing dead people over there? That's what it looks like. It looks like they were just tossing people over and letting their bodies at the rocks. Oh, they got a dead body down here too. See, I just went underwater just to, just to see if there was anybody down there. Or to see if anything is underwater. Because usually that's what game developers do, you know? You play open world games like this. But yeah, they just using this as like a little killing pond. They just toss some people over. Can I not jump out of the water? Nope, okay, I guess yeah, we can't do that. There we go. I mean hell a fall from that height might you know, may not even kill people. That's just making people suffer. If you land on your legs or something, like that's not high enough to kill you. <laughs> now, if you land on your neck, your shoulder, your spine, something like that, yeah, yeah, you may die, but, well, maybe not your spine, you may just be paralyzed, that would suck, but, yeah, that's not tall enough to actually kill you, I think you need, like, what, three, like, higher than two stories to actually kill somebody, when, when you have a fall, like, ten, well, I guess anybody could die from any fall if you fall the wrong way or land on your neck some kind of way, or bash your head in or something, but usually it's, if you jump from like a two-story building and land on your feet, you're not going to die. <laughs> you will live through that. You'll be all busted up and break a, you know, break a couple legs and shit. But yeah, you'll, yeah, you'll most likely live. <laughs> but anything higher than two stories, yeah, you're usually fucked. Not that I've, you know, I've experienced that personally, but, you know, I have a wealth of knowledge.
Some of it I can't say on YouTube. Alright, uh, ooh. No, wait, no, why did you have to appear? <laughs> Must be hitting that carry limit. Yeah, I am over encumbered right now. Okay, that's gonna suck. Ow! Alright, I'm gonna have to probably drop some things. I'm picking up too much armor. Alright, uh, where's my F for sort? I got too much stuff. So I'm guessing these rags probably are nothing yet. Yeah, they're nothing. They're worth one dollar, so it's not like I'll probably need them. Alright, uh. Okay, that's my weight. I'm 10 pounds over. Let's just do this. Let's drop all this newer stuff that we picked up because that's worth almost nothing. And I'll keep all of the regular armor and stuff. That's 4, 12. That's worth something. That's all worth a little bit more. Alright. Just tossing everything out in the water. Alright, I guess we can hit up this uh, fort thing. See what this is all about. Try to find a good stopping point. But hopefully we find somebody with a shop and uh, I won't pick up any more armor unless it's like plate armor or something. Alright, we got this entrance in and there was another hole over there. Let's see if this tells us nothing. Okay, that's just the effigy. Uh, was there anything uh, this way in? Nope. Okay. That's a person down there. What is that? Yeah, that's a person. Is that the guy we were with? No, that's not him. Are you a zombie guy? A drowner. Oh, okay. Enemy. All right, water zombie, gotcha. Ooh, we don't have no health. Oh, crap, I didn't even pay attention to that. All right, I gotta bait his attacks like the other ones. Gotta be super careful. Can't be taking no hits. Fisherman's tunic, all right, let me see what that's all about. Oh, that's why I don't have, when did I take off my armor? I must have took it off when I was going through the inventory stuff. Okay, so that's not worth the, worth grabbing either. Yeah, I must have accidentally took that off. Okay. No wonder I was getting hit. Drained so much. Okay. Oh, this sucks. I don't have no way. Wait, we got that healing spell. Where's that at? Yeah, this... Health regen spell. Yep, that's that thing. Okay. Let's use that real quick. Let's see how this works. Nice. Yep. See, I wish I can. I'm gonna probably see uh, after this video to see if I can quick slot that some kind of way. Cause that that'd be good. I can heal up every time I uh, fight somebody and not use my uh, food or anything. Get a get a brush, brand new save going. Uh, let's see what we got. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we could have came this way on the beach instead of going up there. But maybe this probably circles back around to where we were, or maybe we gotta go that way. Looking like the Eye of Sauron up here. Looked like he's sleep. Yeah, racket stuff. Oh, you had some Phantom Touch. Oh, that must be another healing spell. You were the village healer. That kind of sucks. Uh -oh. Goblins! There's Goblin Slayer when you need them. Alright, let's see if we can just pull this guy. Ah, shit. Okay, they all pulled. Run! <laughs> Run! <laughs> Alright, there we go. Let me get some stamina back. What's that icon up at the top? Okay, that must have been... Oh, they're fast. Okay. I 
cannot fight all of them and heal at the same time. Okay, cool. They're going back. Okay, yeah, we can leave them alone. Leave them alone. Yeah, if I had some, uh, once we get some more potions and some more um, health items, we can go back for that. I'm assuming they're probably guarding, guarding a chest or something. Alright, so it looks like we got something over there. Maybe a city, because I'm seeing an icon on the compass there and here. This place is creepy as shite. How much longer do we have to wait to take down that damn noose? Four days and four nights. That's what the arsehole told me. Said it bring bad luck. I oh, what the hell? What the hell, guys? I'm just... Whoa. Chill. Okay. I was just chilling. I didn't even attack them. <laughs> They're just so aggressive, the outsiders, you know what I'm saying? Ah, crap. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this on the run. Um, let me make a second loadout. Let's do this. So then I can find out how to switch between loadouts, but... And, uh... What is this? Pushes off enemies? <laughs> so can we, like, push people off cliffs? <laughs> if they're closing up? Alright, I don't know how to switch, but let's do this for right now. We can switch it that way. There we go. Heal up a little bit. I'm guessing they're going to turn around. Okay, good. We got one guy. We can deal with one guy. wouldn't be scared of you either, but, like, I can't really heal like that. Oh, crap. No, 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 I didn't select the right one. Alright, there we go. That's right, just keep circling me, guy. I can drop you now. No, don't run. Don't run. One of this ass whooping. Y'all started it. Ooh, you got some fish. What else you got? Worn clothes. Eh, I'll take that. I'll see if that's any good. Oops. Is that better than the original club that I had? Rate of 15. Yeah, that's a little bit better than the. Blunt damage, though. That's gonna be swing a swing slower than the sword, probably. But more damage. We'll test it out. Can't hurt. And uh, since we're here, oops. Let's get this going. Gotta find a better way to keep doing this, but I oh, know we already had full health. Okay, we're good. Just kind of wasted that, but all right. Let me save since uh. Kind of messed up right now. Since we can't really heal from combat like that, unless our mana gets filled back up, and that. Okay, that charges up pretty fast. We should be alright. Okay, so we got some options, YouTube. We can go up here. Let me just see something, because that's one person. No, that, we got Archer guy up here, too. I'm guessing, see, I'm guessing there's like an item or something up here, because like I would put an item if I was a game developer right there and you have to kill the guys to get to it but we got that up there we have this over here that looks like progression since that's where the story thing is so let's do this let's go back and check the thing behind us and we can also check the goblins over here maybe we can dance around them and at least see if they're hiding anything then uh, in the next Ah. Oh. Oh, puppers. Okay. But yeah, we can see what they're hiding, and then in the next video, we can take on that. Cause yeah, I'm assuming, since those goblins were difficult, I'm assuming they're hiding something down here.
maybe a chest or a dead body or something. Maybe the other guys down here. There may be something in that hut that we didn't see. Okay, we got digging physics. Okay. Take that. Take all of that. Glad we picked up that shovel. <laughs> Ooh, look at that hidden cave over there. Oh, hold on, is that another dig site? Yep. That's why you always gotta pick up stuff, YouTube. You never know what you're gonna need. Health potion. Cool. Now, can we go over here? I know in uh, the Elder Scrolls games, they got like slaughter fish that's in the ocean that'll kill you. Alright, don't look like nothing like that in this game. Okay, cool. see what this is over here. That's one person. Are you somebody that's hiding out from everybody else? Or are you a person that's gonna try to kill me? Looks like you just trying to be a hermit away from everybody else. I don't mean to take your stuff like that, but I'm curious. To rest. Okay, so he must be not hostile. He has a name. Alright, uh... Like he's trying to hide stuff back here. You can't hide stuff from me. I'm trying to hide his food the way the animals don't get it. Is that anything? Is that a lockpick? No. Okay. Oh, what is that? No. Okay, nothing. Thought that was a path. All right. Let's go find out who dressed is. Maybe we can give stuff or sell stuff to him. You good? Finally! Do you want me to starve to death just because I can command the primordial forces of nature? Doesn't mean I don't need to eat. Oh, you're not Hob. Nah, but I got some food if you need it, guy. If you can teach me the primordial forces of nature. Guessing you're a wizard? I promise to answer all of your questions, no matter how annoying or asinine they might be. But first, do you have any food? I did. I ate a lot of it, though, but hopefully I got some. Oh, dear. Yes, food. That stuff you put <laughs> in your mouth to make sure your body doesn't wither and die, you know? Fish, meat, vegetables. I got a fish. Oh, some bread would be especially nice. I think, we, anything, really. I think we did pick up some bread and, and, and the stuff by the boat. One first uh, thing, yeah, yeah, we got a few things. Yeah, here you go. Yeah, we got. Uh, he did. He did say some bread. So yeah, we did pick up that loaf of bread. I remember that. Thanks. Uh, I'll be forever indebted to you, but don't expect much. Can we give him multiple pieces of food? For you is seashells, or you know, access to an infinite well of ancient druidic wisdom. Eh, you know, I'll take it if I have to. You know. Of seashells a few days ago after I stepped on them with my bare feet. Understandable. Uh, much better a time for a nap. Oh, except you're still here. <laughs> oh, no, don't tell me you still have questions. Uh, yeah, 100%. Yes, I do. Um, would you like some more food for, an for more ancient wisdom? So I'm guessing maybe he just gave me attribute point or something. My name is Drest and I am the local hermit. Kind of figured that. Okay. I don't understand your skepticism. I live alone in a cave, collect seashells, and occasionally talk to crabs. What else could I be? Well, according to the Little Mermaid, uh, a merman who made a bad choice. <laughs> into a giant wicker man and lit a fire. Damn, they gave him the Nicolas Cage treatment. Springs could barely be hard over the roaring flames, but the stench of the burning flesh easily overwhelmed the smell of blazing wicker. Yeah. It's glow painted the sky. Nicolas Cage made that seem painful. That that just sounded like a way to go. That just sucked. Alright. I've been there if I'm here now. 
Good point. Some years ago? I'm not sure. I, I don't remember. Can we change the subject? Uh, I'm sure there are more interesting things we could be talking about. Well, I live here, obviously. Okay. How'd you get here? The same way you did, I presume. No, I mean, how'd you get to this spot in life? Not how'd you get here to this position? <laughs> I'm giving you truthful answers. That's all you should ever hope for. 100%. He's not wrong about that. I mean, you want some more food? I mean, I can give you some fish. I mean, I gave you bread. I mean, you don't got nothing to wash that down with. Kind of dry. I'm guessing, okay, that's where he's going to pray. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so, yeah, I still got a point. Did he just give me experience points? Because I'm not seeing what he gave me. All right. All right, YouTube. Let me stop it here since I know we're pushing 45 minutes. Um, in the next video, we're going to come back. I'm going to see if we can knock out that other... Um, uh, I guess the entrance to this area and um, then we're going to push up to that little town area in the distance, that fort area and see what that's all about. So I will see you guys in the next one. Later.